Fake IDs and driver's licenses have been around for years, but they have never been as good as they are now. I have actually held this fake ID, looked at it, mm -hmm. and it will blow you away. Young people are ordering them over the internet, internet from places like China and India. Channel 9's Jeff Deal found out some fakes are so good, local police have to run the driver's license number to find out if they are bogus or not. Drinking in college, even high school, sometimes all it takes is a fake ID. They're kind of all over the place, to be honest. But today's fake IDs are not your mother's IDs. It's a lot higher quality. It's definitely not the same where when, I, when we were in college. Lieutenant James Megan with the UCF Police Department would know he sees a lot of them doing bar checks around the campus. We'll find several either in one bar or throughout the night, maybe half a dozen to a dozen. These days, most of them are ordered online from places like China or India. We decided to test it out on a Florida license from a website that advertises high-quality fake IDs. We had to wire our money to someone named Yanlong Jiang in China. Once Mr. Jiang picked up the cash, only then could we submit our order. The website even instructed us on how to shoot the photo. We recruited Eyewitness News reporter Field Sutton, snapped his pic, uploaded it, and submitted his information under the fake name Randy Leahy. Six weeks later, the website posted its proof pics showing a batch of IDs was ready to ship. All right, this is it. We've been waiting for about seven weeks for this envelope to come. You can see it's a postmark from Dallas, Texas. Looks pretty generic. Let's check out and see what's inside. Looks like it's a uh, looks like it's a pack of baseball cards. But hidden between the two cards was the fake license. We had Lieutenant Mangan check it out. Appearance looks just like a real driver's license. He said the feel is slightly different, but even the Florida State Seal hologram looks real. Then we tested it with the help of a local convenience store. Let's give it a shot. Right through. Jennifer de Guzman told us even the information encoded on the card shows it as valid. She would sell Randy Leahy a pack of cigarettes using the ID. It scans right through the register, the picture. It's it, this is as good as it gets. Mangan says what young people may not realize is the lifelong consequences of getting caught with a fake ID. Underage drinking in the state of Florida is a misdemeanor, but possessing a fraudulent ID or driver's license is a felony. <laughs> Wow. And he says it's not just a problem, you know, with uh, drinking, underage drinking, things like that, ID theft, um, identity fraud, things like that, even getting in secure areas. Absolutely. It's legit. When you when you we looked at it, we thought it was Yeah, real. if you take a look at that driver's license, it looks like a real thing. It has the hologram on yeah. it and everything when you turn it. And then the baseball cards on the outside. So if a parent were to see that, they're like, oh, I'm just getting some baseball cards. Right. I think underage people might order that and open parents could see their name on it and mm. open it up just to see what it is and maybe they'll be fooled by that. Wow, that's amazing. Mm. Pretty right. cool. Thanks.